Hi everyone, I'm Chemaka and Obia. I'll be talking about the impact of nature in Emily Dickinson's selected poems. The second slide contains my primary text, which are four selected poems by Dickinson. They are Nature, the Gentlest Mother, Nature is what we see, who of the woods, will there really be a morning? It all captures the elements of nature, ecology, especially during the 19th century. Yeah, the third and the fourth slide contains my secondary sources, which would complement my primary sources. The uh, books and text articles gotten from literature, concept of literature, culture, ecology, ecocriticism, which would help me build up my primary text, and majorly books on how to embed literature and culture, or literature and ecology, how how an um, critic talk about how nature impacts literature and how literature also impacts nature. Yeah, we are at the fifth slide. Yep. Some of my research questions that I've come up with are uh, how does Dickinson define the concept of nature in our poems? How how does the imaginative work of art interact with the subject of ecology and literature? How environmental issues are addressed in the poem? How the structure and the language of the poem invites its readers to a deeper ecological kind of thinking? So basically, I'll be doing a conceptual reading of how my primary text, in this, in this case, the poems, interact with thoughts of um, other writers, how it encapsulates the subject of nature in its form, and the primary theoretical framework I'll be using is eco criticism to fully captured the realities of nature in the 19th century. When discussing or when writing about the poem, rather, I'll have to look at the use of form, the use of language by Emily Dickinson, and how it also impacts on nature. By giving a very peculiar voice to non-human elements in our poems, elements such as nature, the sky, the trees, and so many others. Emily Dickinson has helped form the Harida's thought on how to see nature, how to interact with nature, and how, to, and how nature is relevant to their future, to their present, and to their past. Thank you so much for listening. So sorry about the quality of the audio. And feel free to comment on my slide. Oh, sorry. Comment on my... <laughs> on the comment section below. Thank you.